and I'm Rihanna. I'm a second year primary education student and today I'm going to give you a little bit of advice in terms of research in different universities and the application stage. So obviously when you're going to apply for a university you need to find the university that is right for you and you would do that by doing a sufficient amount of research. So UCAS is a great place to start in terms of finding the universities that offer your course. So just by typing your course in the search bar, it'll give you a long list of all the different universities that offer the course that you're interested in. And there you can look at the kind of modules that they run and the entry requirements and so on. From there, you actually can use a new feature that UCAS has, which is called UCAS Hub. Now that is just a way for you to collate all information that you find interesting. So um, any courses that you're interested in at different universities, you can kind of collate them all via UCAS Hubs. That is something that I would recommend. Something that I would also recommend is grabbing a prospectus from the universities that you're interested in. So that can either be online or a hard copy and Edge Hill do offer both. Um, it just gives you a really good idea of all the different courses that are on offer. And if you want to do, if you're interested in more than one thing or there are quite similar courses that you are interested in within your subject area it's just a prospectus is a really good way to kind of give you that idea and narrow it down for you something else i'd recommend wherever possible attend open days whether they're virtual or physical getting a feel of the university and the course gives you a really good indication of whether it's right for you doing this as well is a really good way to see how your course is assessed because assessment is obviously a big part of university and it needs to suit you for example, my course, something that really attracted me to the course that I'm on, which is primary education at Edge Hill, is that there was no exams. Um, and my course is made up of placement and assignments. So it's something that really suited me and something that massively attracted me to the course. I think looking into that really does do you a lot of benefit. Now, once you've done all your research for all your courses and universities, you're then going to move on to the application stage. Now, in terms of approaching your personal statement, there might be a lot of things that you don't realise would be perfect on your personal statement. So whether it's a part-time job, your studies or volunteering, it's the skills that you've developed from those experiences that the universities really want to hear about. They want to know who you are as a person. Um, and I'd argue that the skills are potentially more important than the experience because the skills that you've got essentially are make up the person that you are. So I'd say try and have a brainstorm of these experiences, even if you think they are minor things, the skills that you've developed from them might be more significant than what you think. So in terms of putting your personal statement together, it is a lot of pressure and you do feel that. However, don't give in to the temptation to rush it and send it off quickly because the universities that you're applying to will pr much prefer that it's a good quality personal statement than a rushed statement that's been sent in quickly. You are much better at spending more time on it, making sure it's a good, accurate representation of you and that it's something that you are proud of. And lastly, use any help that you can get with your personal statement because for you to kind of manage it all on your own, it's really tricky and some might say it's impossible. So you will have support around you and it's there for a reason. So please use it because a different perspective on your statement will only do you some benefits. You can choose whether to take that advice or to leave it, but just having that advice and using that help will make your statement so much stronger. So I'd massively advise you to use any help that you can get. So I hope that's given you a bit more of an idea of how to navigate the research and application stage of university. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for watching. Bye.